What's going on guys? Happy 2020. Welcome back to Grave Uncut. It's been a few months since I last uploaded on this channel. I bet you missed that. Anyway, before I was rudely interrupted, I figured I'd take the time to explain why I haven't uploaded since I want to say back in November and a lot of the stuff that I have in mind for the channel. So before I get into that, due to the changes on YouTube, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. This channel in no way, shape, form, or color is considered kid friendly. As per the definition from the FTC and the COPPA nonsense, I have stated this several times. This channel is not kid friendly. I never advertise it as kid friendly. I just recently today had to do the alterations on the channel to specify that because I don't want to get and I don't feel the need to go through every single individual video between this channel and Grave Uncut Gaming to specify this. So it should go without saying that Grave Uncut and Grave Uncut Gaming are not child friendly. It's a mix. It's a mixed channel because you'll see the. I'm going to go into detail regarding the reviews and stuff, but for starters, it's not strictly kid friendly due to the fact that I use vulgar language at times, due to some of the skits that I may do on the channel, due to some of the skits that I have in mind to do for the channel. Hell, some of the skits I can't necessarily put on YouTube for such reasons. And I'm looking into an alternative for that. So to appease the FTC, YouTube, and uh, the COPPA stuff, this channel is not kid friendly. Now back to your regular scheduled bullshit video. Okay, so I took time away from YouTube for maybe about a month, month and a half. Not strictly because of planning stuff out for the channel, but also because around the time the holidays kicked in, I didn't have the time to actually record a video and get it out for you guys. But in that time, I did take some consideration as far as how and what direction I wanted this channel to go. So. I have a list of things over here I may read through because, again, this is about roughly a month and a half of stuff that I was considering doing. Hell, there was a point where I saw the views on the, on the movie reviews. They have declined a decent amount. But then again, I don't necessarily have that big of a following to begin with. So, to put it in perspective, Grave Uncut has 40, roughly 40 subscribers at the moment. The views will range depending on the subject matter of uh, between, I want to say the most I've seen on movie reviews is about 30 views. So that basically to me comes down to there's 10 people that haven't watched. That and also due to the changes on YouTube and based on how the videos are made, YouTube is suppressing it. YouTube has been suppressing any channel that has vulgar language, that is not considered kid friendly. But I will discuss this in a, that in a future video. For now, I just want to go about what my plan is for Grave Uncut and Grave Uncut Gaming. Because Grave Uncut Gaming, I can assure you, it's been a long, long time since I put anything up on there. Because in 2019, my main focus was to get Grave Uncut started and to get videos out and to get content flowing and to build a subscriber base, which I did with the help of some of my friends, Reyes, Brutal Gunplay, so on and so forth. Now, uh, the movie reviews, I'm going to say whether, what I'm going to cover in this video, my, bear with me for a second because this isn't meant to be a scripted video, this isn't meant to be like something that I come off the top of my head because this is something that was fully thought through and what I have in mind for it. So what I'm going to cover in this video, whether the movie reviews are going to continue. 
what am I going to add to the channel? What's going on with the gaming channel and am I going to take up streaming again? What the fuck happened to jailbreak stuff? Will there be more skits? And the future of what the fuck internet? Let me start off with the movie reviews, obviously, because that's that had been a primary focus on Grave Uncut. Now, the movie reviews full, mainly started between me, Reyes, and Brutal Gunplay. The reason behind Reyes not being on the movie reviews and Brutal Gunplay not being a part of the movie reviews, it's mainly because everybody's schedule is extremely different. I know with Reyes, he's in his band uh, Soups and Sides, which is a system of a down cover band, as well as he's also focusing on his own channel and his own life. Same thing can be said for Brutal Gunplay. And for Troy, who had actually been featured on uh, one of the videos. You may have only seen him briefly. He was in the uh, the Return of Lit video. Now, the movie reviews. To go, now that that part of it has been said, will I continue the movie reviews? I will. But due to the decline in views, it will not be a focus on the channel. At most, I know I was attempting to do a weekly movie review thing, but due to my personal life and a lot of things that I have planned, I want to keep YouTube as a YouTube as a as a secondary focus because it's not my main source of income. Hell, I'm not making money off of YouTube help due to the content even if I was at that point of being monetized I probably wouldn't be making all that much but then again I don't really upload on a regular I don't have an upload schedule and that's for basic reasons that I've just explained now how often will the movie reviews come up I can attempt to at least get one every I can attempt to get one on a fairly weekly basis but it won't be a steady weekly basis because it all depends on if the movie is one of those. It's, if it's, it all depends on if that's that movie that's got my attention enough that I want to actually check it out and determine whether it's worth the review or not. Prime example: the last movie review that I did was on Terminate, the last Terminator movie, Dark Fate. That didn't do so well, and I know I, I have an idea as to why it didn't do well because between the time I released the review and between the time that the movie released. I took more time than I needed to actually take the time to record it. Also, not a lot of people were crazy about watching the movie to begin with. So that impacted it. The same thing could be for the uh, Zombieland Double Tap review. That by far probably has to be one of my lowest viewed reviews. Now, that kind of hurts as far as uploading that kind of content because clearly that's showing that not a lot of people want to watch that so I'm gonna most likely try to focus more on like review I will do reviews on movies and it'll be a variety of different stuff it's just a matter of I'm still working out the kinks as far as how I want those reviews to be because I started out watching YouTube videos like the YouTube videos that I mainly watched when I started when YouTube basically started I was always watching the angry video game nerd nostalgia critic those were kind of like the backbone of how I wanted to go about it, but I also wanted to throw my own flair in it. But it's a matter of developing that flair and developing that personality. So, I want to say if you, if the movie, being that the movie reviews are going to continue, expect them at least on a, I don't want to be quoted on this, but expect them to be at a roughly bi weekly basis. So every two weeks, you may see a movie review. Okay, now that that's said as far as the movie reviews, what is being added to Grave Uncut? Now, even though the movie reviews are gonna kinda take a, a back seat on the channel now, because I wanna explore different types of content. I wanna find my niche, so to speak. A lot of you may not know, Based on the gaming channel, I do have a decent background as far as as far as gaming. So, on the gaming channel, I did uh, let's plays. They were live let's plays, but they were let's plays. But 
being that they were live, they were roughly like hour to an hour to two hours, three hour tops, depending on where I was in the game. Since I saw the decl the views on those were even worse. Like I, I'm still trying to work the kinks out on that, but I decided at well, at some point last year to move the let's plays, the live let's plays, to Twitch. Needless to say, I did not necessarily take the time. I did do a couple of Let's Plays on Twitch, but I'm still building up on there. With that being said, I am going to like try to like hammer in more Let's Plays on Twitch, and I will have the live streams transferred over to YouTube, and I will try to do whatever I can to like push that, push that, that content on there, because I want to get back on the gaming channel, because it's been sitting there. The gaming channel sitting on about 60, 60 subs. And I want that to build up uh, as much as Grave Uncut. Obviously, it's going to take time. And of course, the algorithm on YouTube is constantly changing. And of course, being the way that the content is, it might not get pushed by YouTube due to the regulations that are being pushed. It's not saying that I'm going to give up entirely. With the Let's Play stuff being said, there is going to be another review series focused on gaming. Now, these reviews are going to take place after the completion of the game. Whatever game I'm working on, whether it be Call of Duty, whether it be uh, one of the, the new Dragon Ball Z game that came out, whichever. There will be a review. Whether the game be new, old, there will be a review. Those, I can assure you, will not be on a weekly basis. Hell, those may be on a monthly basis. The series is going to be called Full Play Reviews. Which is basically, I play through a game, go through it fully, and then give you my full opinion on it. Based off of graphics, character choice, character design, you name it. Moving on to what the fuck internet. A lot of people may have an issue with the name because it's simply a title that has the word fuck in it and I entirely refuse to censor any content on here mainly because I have my gripes on censorship I'm gonna state put it that way my gripes on censorship is just because a word is bleeped out does not mean people can't figure out what the hell the word is simply by putting it all depends on how the words are linked together so I mean eh, best way I could put it Say you say, shut the fuck up. And the word fuck is bleeped. Do you get where I'm getting at here? It doesn't matter whether a word is bleeped out. People know what the word is that you're saying. Did you just cluck? Anyway. What the fuck internet is going to continue? Because that seems to be a good standpoint as far as what kind of content people like. What the fuck internet has always been... If whatever's going on on the internet that may be entirely fucking stupid that needs to get ripped apart. Uh, hell, I've done videos regarding uh, the Tide Pod Challenge. I've done videos on the Area 51. I did a video on the Area 51 raid. That should say, what the fuck internet is staying? I'm not changing the name of the series. I may work on titles of the videos for it. But in the long run, it's going to be, what the fuck internet? Okay. <laughs> probably the one thing that people are going to be th that some some of the viewers are probably going to be getting me on because I promised last year that there was going to be a, I was going to bring back a series called Joe Break Stuff. Now, to just give a brief rundown of what that is I have broken electronics and I break it whatever it may be, whether it be a broken Playstation be a broken laptop, whatever but they were also videos that had stories to them like there was like they were skits where I ended up breaking stuff and I for the first episode I had the first episode scripted for the return the return of the series problem being the script had been rewritten several times and the main issue has been as far as everyone's availability for it I am currently rewriting the first episode now in the writing process it's all a matter of what comes to mind how I want to go about it I'm not giving you guys what this what the first episode's going to be. Just know the the name of the first episode is going to be Joe Break Stuff the Revival. My issue as far as the series, 
everyone's availability. I will say in the first, the original first episode, I had in mind to have Reyes and Brutal Gunplay help me out with that. I'm running into the same issue that I had with the movie reviews, people's availability. But needless to say, I am going to try to really hammer in getting Joe, Joe Break stuff started in 2020. It's been a long time coming. The series has not been a fo the series has been like dormant since I want to say back when I was in high school, and that was about eight years ago. And I'm also going to be working on more skits. I want to do more skits because the I think when I started the channel uh, a couple years back, there were a couple of skits where I was basically doing work on my computer, and it gave the computer personality, blah blah blah, so to speak, yada yada yada. I want to do more stuff like that. Hell, I want to actually expand. On doing skits so as time goes on there will be more skits on the channel I just it's just a matter of planning them out so to wrap this part up gaming reviews are gonna be coming up Joe break stuff at some point in 2020 they will the first episode will be out I just don't have a time frame what the fuck internet is gonna continue it's been like a pretty big series on the channel now for the gaming channel, I touched base a little earlier in the video regarding that. Um, I will kick back more stuff, more time into the gaming channel because I don't remember the last time I put anything up. I think the last thing that went up was a stream from Twitch when I was playing uh, Call of Duty with uh, with the Lit Boys. Uh, as far as the clan goes, um, everybody's basically been busy with their own stuff. I've been playing with Jacob, playing with Justin. It's just I haven't like really like f put focus on streaming or whatnot. But, needless to say, I am going to come back on the gaming channel. This video is going to be coming out... What's today? I believe it's the 18th? So this video is going to drop January 18th. And there will be a live stream sometime tonight. Whether it be Call, the Let's Play of Call of Duty, I'm still working out what I want to do. But the Let's Plays, Grave Plays, the series Grave Plays, those are going to be seen first on Twitch at twitch.tv slash gravediggerb15. Link will be in the description. And later, after the stream, will be uploaded to YouTube. I know I said I wasn't going to do put the streams on YouTube, but... I figure those that did not watch it on Twitch can then watch it on YouTube. I've also been getting a lot of crap that I haven't been uploading on YouTube on the gaming channel for a while. And I want to get back to that. It was something I enjoyed doing, even though the views were not there. Platinumed. Those of you who don't know what Platinumed is, it was my trophy hunting series. It was a live trophy hunting series exclusive on YouTube. It is still going to be exclusive on YouTube. Um, since I have been absent on the gaming channel, I did get a couple of Platinums, and I will have a video on the gaming channel going over what trophies I have and what games I've platinum since because I think the last game I platinumed as far as on live stream I think it was Assassin's Creed Odyssey I want to say it was Odyssey that was the last game I platinum on stream but platinum will return I don't know when I want to I'm gonna say within the next few weeks because there are a couple of games that I actually have to go back on because I want to actually platinum them. Hell, I had in mind to platinum Mafia 3. I still plan to. It's just that like, I looked over some of the stuff and it's going to be a major, major grind. But, in time, you'll, I'll, you'll see platinum. It will be exclusive on YouTube. Also, for full play reviews, on full play reviews will be solely on Grave Uncut. The Let's Plays and Platinum will be on YouTube and Twitch. But you will see you will see clips from uh, Grave Plays incorporated into full play review. 
full play review will be a lot more in in depth and detailed so you may expect to see videos roughly 15 to 20 minutes long okay I mean that covers everything for the gaming channel let's see this video is running about 20 some odd minutes now might as well close this off so for 2020 I want to tell everybody to expect more content between Grave Uncut and Grave Uncut Gaming. Um, as far as how often the uploads will be, it remains to be seen because I don't set myself on an upload schedule. I attempted doing the weekly uploads, but due to a variety of different factors, which I'm not about to get into, it can be difficult. But I will attempt to at least get videos. I'm going to attempt to get videos out every week between the gaming channel and Grave Uncut. Grave Uncut, as I said, is at 40 subs. Grave Uncut Gaming is at 60. My plan for 2020. I want to get, I want to get both channels to 100 subs. So... If Grave Un when Grave Uncut hits 100 subs, I'm going. I will do a giveaway. So hopefully by 2020 that 100 sub goal is reached. What I'm thinking about doing, if when Grave Uncut hits 100 subs, I will do a gift card giveaway. When Grave Uncut Gaming hits 100 subs, I'm thinking, I'm thinking a like a GameStop gift card or. Whatever, so expect basically expect two giveaways. One for the gaming channel, one for the main. Monetary amount, I have not decided. I want to do giveaways once, once both channels hit 100. Hell, if they surpass it, that'll be even better. So, hit that sub button. Hit that bell button, too, while you're at it, just so you know when I upload. Before YouTube gets rid of the bell icon, and all of a sudden you can't see where my, when my freaking content comes out. Because they're now being kid-friendly. Now, as I mentioned earlier on, as far as some content ideas that I had that I can most likely will not be able to upload on YouTube, I'm going to see about checking out other alternatives. Some of you may be wondering what kind of alternatives are there outside of YouTube. Well, if you have been following McJuggernuggets, who is the psycho kid, who just this year retired from YouTube and focused on his little brainchild for being YouTube's competition. I'm going to look into uh, jumping over to Storyfire for exclusive content on there. And once I get close to figuring all that out, that's when... I'll announce anything with Storyfire, but I'm just letting you guys know I'm going to look into jumping over to Storyfire. Not strictly. Certain content may be strictly, but not strictly content-wise. Depending on how everything goes. It's a crapshoot. Anyway, before I go any long, any further onto this, I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to thank everybody for subscribing in 2019. I want to welcome the new subscribers that are coming in this year. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Make sure you uh, hit the bell icon if it still exists. And I'll see you guys in the next video.